I'm Tiffany Baker and I'm the director here at the Historic Capitol Museum. The exhibit is called Rightfully Hers and it is a kind of national overview of the history of the passage of the 19th Amendment and ratification of it. The 100th year anniversary is this year and we are just looking at the, the struggle for universal women's suffrage and the aftermath. The lenders of the artifacts that visitors will see are Mr. Ron Book and Senator Lauren Book. And they decided to start collecting suffrage artifacts because they had a personal interest in the history. My dad has always been a political and history buff. And his collection actually started with um, pins and political buttons. And so he had been collecting those for quite some time until he came across some of the suffragette postcards. Um, and then it grew from there. And then you find um, different political auctions out there. And, and so now um, we, we kind of participate in those together and we'll go through the different catalogs and find things that are really cool, different and unique. A lot of dialogue had started about the centennial. I told them that I you know, had this collection, Lauren had this collection, um, and we thought we wanted to try to share it. What could we do to share some of the, and some of the history with other Floridians and people who come to visit our historic capital? As you walk down the hallway to look at Rightfully Hers, you are welcomed by this iconic suffrage image. It just is an overwhelming piece that provides this significance and weight to this important exhibit and this important historic moment. I, I think the ballot box is one of my favorites for what it represents, that, that there was a place for us to be recorded that we weren't just chattel, that we weren't just property to be had, that we had a, that voice. The women's ballot box is from 1904. It is a ballot box that was used entirely for collecting women's ballots. Uh, before the 19th Amendment passed in 1920, there were a number of states that, that would allow women to vote in certain elections. And actually, there were a number of states out in the West that would um, allow women to vote in presidential elections. Of course, and many, many women wanted the vote, but there was a contingent of women who, who did not, and there was the uh, anti-suffrage league. Now, the cat is a image that was used. So in the UK, the women would go into prison there, and they started to force feed them when they went on hunger strike. And so it, it brought about a lot of uh, attention, so they changed the law and they started to release women when they started getting ill from the hunger strikes. And then as soon as they were well again and back to their activities, they would catch them again and they called it the cat and mouse. There is a sewing kit that encourages folks to vote. It was a issue, government issue, from World War I. It just sort of draws your attention to all of the many things that were going on in the suffrage movement. Many visitors choosing perhaps to stay home or not being able to travel very far. We want to try to bring our content into homes as much as possible. And we reached out to WFSU because of the strong children's content that is provided on a regular basis. And we were ecstatic that y'all wanted to partner with us on this on providing this information to the public at large. We are considering expanding it at least a month or two so that school groups that come in the fall this year will be able to see and experience the exhibit. You know, we look at things in our current lens and go back and look at some of the things um, that were used to, um, to really get the message out there that women deserved a place to vote. I want people to take away that in the end, Equality ruled today in a democratic process. That to me, being on display in the historic state capitol, I don't think it gets much better than that. When visitors walk away from this exhibit, we hope that they will be considering the extreme value of their right to vote here in the United States. We want them to consider that it is, uh, it took a lot of work for 
equal voting rights to be afforded to women. I hope that people will take away that it is an important moment to reflect and also to use that reflection as motivation for the future.